Okay, welcome to your fifth HTML tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to cover the drop-down menu. As we can see, as you can see here, the drop-down menu with the send button. Um, it has a select uh, element where you can select either boy, girl, cat, girl, or bird, and click the button to send it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's take this, but we're going to do this from scratch. Let's take this out. Okay, Control S to save. Let's refresh it. Okay, so let's start off. Okay, we must always start out uh, with a a form element to to direct the, the browser where to send the data. So we go form, opening and closing form elements. Okay, our action is going to be on the same page, which is index dot php. Okay, and our method. Is going to be get get method so that we can see the data being sent in the URL. Okay, now the drop down box has a tag of select, opening and closing select tag. Okay, um, the name of the select we need to give it a name such as um, drop down, any name will do. D O W B O W N. Okay, and we need to give we need to in, um add uh, option tags as well. So option. Okay. Okay, the option tags will contain the the selection. So let's say our first option will be boy. Okay, but we need to all we also need to put in a value. So that we can identify that it is a boy. So we're going to put a value of, let's say, boy. We can put a value of anything we want. Okay, let's put in another option. Okay. Um, let's put in another option of girl. And we need to put a value so that we can identify it as, let's say, girl as well. Okay, um, let's let's load this in the browser. Control S to save. Okay, you see here we have boy and girl, but we need to put a default option as well. So let's go back to it. And above the boy option, let's put an option here of a default option. Um, let's say the default option will be select, which prompts the user to select uh, an option. Let's give it a value of x, right? So, what if the user does not select an option, right? It will be defaulted to 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 this value here of x, and we can we can prompt the user that they need to select an option afterwards. Okay, now let's put in another option below the girl. Let's put in an option here. Let's put in an option here of uh, cat. Okay, let's put a value. C A T. Okay, and let's put in another option. Okay, let's put in another option of bird. Uh, let's put in bird. Okay, and put a value equals to bird okay okay so let's 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 run this in the browser okay so now we have here a default option of select if the user doesn't select anything it will be defaulted to select which is X or the user can select boy or they can select girl or they can select cat, or they can select bird. Okay, um, let's put in a button right now. The button needs to go below the select. 
element. So number input one input element. Um, let's say type is going to be submit. It has to be submit in fact so that it can be a button. Okay, let's do the value. Number of value is um, the, the, the text within the button. So we're going to say send. Okay, and let's run it in the browser. Control S to save. Okay, now you see here the send button. Okay, so the, the but whatever the user, whenever the user is going to select an option, they select an option, then they click send. Okay, and boom, it's going to be sent into the, the URL. Okay, as parameters, the, the question mark here is automatically going to be placed here. Okay, and that says that the, the, the URL has parameters or arguments. Okay, and the drop down name, which will be this name right here. And it, that is saying that the user, the, the value of this drop down name right here is boy, saying that the user has select boy. So, whatever the user selects, let's say it selects girl. Okay, you see here, girl is going to be sent into the, the URL saying that the user selected girl as well. Okay, um, so that's 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 basically what uh, uh, the, the drop down menu uh, is about. Uh, now, we can use PHP language uh, scripting language such as PHP. We're going to get into PHP in depth uh, with further further tutorials. But um, just to give you a sense of what you can do with this drop down information here, we're going to use PHP to grab this drop down information here and display it on the page below here. So below the form element, let's put PHP tags now. To write PHP code, you always need to put opening and closing PHP tags. So you put uh, angle bracket question mark PHP open, close, angle uh, question mark angle bracket. Okay, all your PHP code must be placed within this P within these two tags right here. Now we need to create a variable, right? Before we do so, let's say let's 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 find out whether the the, the button was submitted, the form was submitted or not. So you're gonna say if if right is set don't worry if you don't understand this at this moment in time we're going to go further into it um, further down okay if ins is set uh, dollar underscore get remember we use the, the we use the method here get so we need to put get here if we use post then we would put post here instead but we say in get if dollar underscore get is set right so the get now within these um, uh, quotation marks right here we need to put the name remember that name was sent to the the, the, um, the URL right here so you're saying if uh, if is set if this was sent right here if is set dollar underscore get drop down okay then we're saying we're gonna add the value of that drop down name right here we're going to add the value of this drop down name which is girl to a variable right which we call it var right variable equals dollar underscore get okay uh, drop down okay now we added the value of that drop down name right here that drop down name right here, we added the value of that which is girl, we added it to, to the variable here, var, and then we're going to echo out that on the screen, echo uh, var, okay, don't worry about the PHP, uh, we're going to go in depth a lot into PHP, we're going to get into um, uh, object oriented PHP as well, so we're going to echo the value out onto the page, okay, uh, Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, uh, let's save this as well. Save and refresh. Sorry about that. Okay, now whatever we select here, boy, whatever we select, 
is going to be sent here to the to the the the, the drop down name the URL the name will be boy and it's going to be echoed out we're going to echo out echo it out onto the screen right here so we're going to echo variable out onto the screen right here so um, but like I said we're going to get um, in depth into this with further tutorials but basically we created a, a form element which is a select a drop down menu um, the, the drop down menu is of type is of uh, uh, it has a tag select uh, the name is drop down. We, we have several options here. Um, select boy, girl, cat, bird. If the user, if the, the, the select option is the default option, if the user does not uh, select an option, it's going to default to X and we can prompt the user to that they need, he or she needs to select an option. Okay, we have our button here, a value send. Okay, and we, we included a, a simple PH, very simple PHP script right here to grab that, that information in the URL and display it on the screen right here. But basically this is our, 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 our drop down menu tutorial and um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.